Hello and welcome to Mary's Mini Day 8. Cat, really, like, come on. Cat's having a drink of water from a cup directly behind the camera, so it's probably getting picked up. Um, I will be completely honest with you, I cannot remember what day it is in my normal day count. I think it's 122, I want to say. Something like that. Basically, we're going to do a catch-up on yesterday and today. Because I had to be up at 6.45 this morning in order to get to the hospital. Uh, as, uh, as some of you may have known or some of you may not know. Uh, basically, uh, just over a week ago now, I was rushed into hospital with uh, severe pain caused by gallstones. Um, the ultrasound basically came back that your kidney has a lot of stones in. And that's, that's a set, uh, not your kidney, your gallbladder. Your gallbladder has a lot of stones in. And that's kind of all I knew, because there weren't any pictures from the ultrasound, because someone forgot to save them. There was just this written description in German that I couldn't translate. And whenever I asked about it, hello, hi, what's the matter? Oh no, do you need cuddles? Do you want to come up? No, you just wanted to interrupt me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so uh, the gallbladder's got stones in, but no one could tell me like what size they were, how many there were, like how serious it was, nothing. And, oh, kitty, come on, like, come on up. Is this better? Is it? Oh, come on, let's. There we go. Of course, everyone wants to see the cat and not me. There we go. So, um, yeah, everything that I could hear about this thing was there are gallstones in the gallbladder, but nothing about how many there were, etc. Okay, you can go. Ah, uh, dear. No, there we go. Nothing about how many there were, and nothing about, like, how serious it was or anything like that. So, I was kind of just, like, dealing with it, and I asked about, you know, getting, like, uh, the sonic stuff, where they break up your break up your stones, like, like they do with kidney stones. I, I asked whether or not they could do that. Um... And the answer was no. And the surgeon sort of read through everything and said, no, yeah, we, we definitely want to operate. We want to take out the entire gallbladder. And I said, all right, okay, well, fair enough. Like, if that's, if that's what you recommend, like, far be it from me to argue with medical professionals. They've got the degrees. I don't. Um, so I... Sorry, I'm going to try and keep my head straight because if I keep my head straight, then it doesn't, like, do the auto color balancing and exposure and stuff. Uh, it doesn't try and white balance against anything else. So, kitty, look, you don't want to be picked up and cuddled or petted. So, like, what? What is it? Do you, do you need me to lock you out of the kitchen? Because that's what I'm going to do. Just let me get on with stuff, okay? It's been a stressful two days. Thank you. Right, where were we? Right, okay, so they recommended surgery. I'm not going to argue with them because medical professionals, and I already offered them, like, an alternative, and they said no, mainly because the results just aren't there for them to keep doing it. So they, they took it off the plate, uh, which I'm, I'm totally down with. Like, it, they tried it, and it didn't work on other people, so, meh. Um, or at least not enough people to make it worthwhile. And apparently, like, they don't do it in most of Berlin now. Like, there's some places that do, but it's, like, it's not really, like, a hospital or anything, you know? So, uh, so I was like, right, okay, let's do this. Let's go down the surgery route to remove it, because that's what I was recommended. And I said, come in for 8 a.m. on Friday, which is today. Hello, kitty. Look, kitty, come on. Do you want to sit up here? Hello. Look. Come in on Friday, and what we'll do is uh, we'll get you booked in, we'll go through like the 
uh, anesthesia stuff, you know, all, all the stuff that you need to go through to get admitted in for surgery and stuff. Okay, look, if you're not gonna, there, there you go. Bloody cat. Um, come in, we'll get you sorted out. Right, okay, no problem. So this morning, uh, last night I didn't record a vlog because I had to be up really early. Um, and then this morning, got up, got dressed, left, um, realized I'd forgot my wallet, which has my insurance card in. <laughs> so I had to come back, grab that, and then went and made it to the hospital exactly on time. Uh, there's actually a video that recorded on the way, which is here. Good morning. It's Friday. It's 7.20 a.m. and I'm currently marching in order to get to the hospital. I could use one of those lime scooter things, but... Mm. I'm not that late yet. According to, uh, according to Google, I can get there exactly on time for my appointment. I know this is terrible stillness, by the way, but this is very impromptu. I figured I'd do this rather than recording later. <laughs> oh, man. So, things are going okay. I'm going to get this out of the way with get home eventually and then record proper. See you in a bit. Bye. And there we go, we're back. So, uh, the long and short of it is I'm now recording at something like 20 to 11 at night because there was an awful lot of waiting around in the hospital and I didn't really feel like vlogging at the time. And then by the time I got out of there, it was about 2 p.m. And I, if not closer to three, and I hadn't eaten and I hadn't had anything to drink or anything because, you know, like I'm, I'm waiting for people to call me into various different offices. And the only water that they had was carbonated. And I don't like carbonated water. Like if it's soda, yeah, absolutely, I'm there. Which is kind of one of the reasons why I'm this size to be in with, or at least, you know, the size I was when I started. Um, but yeah, I, I was just like, uh, uh, no, you're all right. So, uh, hmm, yeah. There was an awful lot of waiting around, but I did see, um, I saw nurses who took my blood. I saw doctors who went through everything with me. I saw surgeons who went through exactly how the procedure is gonna go ahead. Uh, I saw the anesthetist who thankfully, out of all of them, spoke the best English. <laughs> Kind of like the the one that I'm most most wanting to make sure that I understand is the guy who's knocking me out. You know, like that's kind of an important one. So long and short of it, um, if you if you're a little bit squicky on like details of operations and stuff, skip ahead. But you know, I'm, I'm trying to cover everything because I feel like you should know. Because why not? What's the point of a vlog if you're not going to cover these things? Uh, right, so, skip ahead, fair warning. There we go, right. So, uh, what is going to happen is, on Monday at 9am, I turn up at the hospital. I turn up with a bag that has a washcloth and some toiletries and some clothes, but not too many. And that's about it. I don't need to bring any money. I don't need to bring any, like, any other stuff. Uh, definitely don't bring any food. Uh, I'm going to bring my mobile and a charger and possibly some small headphones or maybe my big ones. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm still deciding. I might this weekend go and buy some cheap, big, over-ear headphones. Uh, from Zatorn or something, because they're fairly cheap, and then that way, you know, I can I can tune out the beeping of heart monitors and other people that I can't understand. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Um, so I turn up on Friday with all that stuff, and they take my bag away and squirrel it into whatever ward I'm going to be in, and they start prepping me. So what they do is they get me sorted with a cannula, which is the, uh, you know, like the, the little plastic tube that they put into your arm or the back of your hand. Uh, basically direct line into the vein. 
and that's for saline drips, uh, saline drips and drugs and all sorts of different things. Um, they are going to administer a general anis sorry no they're going to what is it they're going to admit administer a painkiller like a serious painkiller and a general anesthetic and the general anesthetic like i think is mixed with like i think it's like the gas and air sort of mix where like that'll knock me out like you know like put this mask on your face and count backwards from 10 that sort of thing um, but obviously in German, so it'd be like, I don't know, put this mask on your face and count backwards from Um That is gonna knock me out completely. Uh, I've been told that when something goes in through the IV, it, it's like a burning sensation, possibly. Like, about half the time people feel a burning sensation as it comes up the arm. Um, but then, I'm not going to really care about it because I'm going to be like out very soon afterwards and it's going to be like an actual like numbing sensation. Um, so I fall asleep and they take the breathing mask off and they intubate me. Now intubation is exactly the same word in German as it is in English, like intubate, intubation. And all it is, is they put a tongue depressor in and they shove a breathing tube down my throat and that goes all the way into my lungs and that stops me from throwing up. Which I shouldn't do because I'm not allowed to eat for at least six hours before. And because it's 9 a.m. in the morning, I'm probably not gonna eat from like 8 p.m. at the very latest the night before. So I should be completely empty, but you never know. Um, then once that's in, they strap me up to all sorts of monitors and, and, you know, IV and possibly blood if needs be. And we go in for laparoscopic surgery, which is keyhole. So they make a, a large incision just underneath the belly button, two to the right side of it, and one just underneath my sternum. And into one goes the camera. If, if I figured this out right, into one goes the camera, into another goes the little scalpel, into another goes a little grabby arm claw pincer thing, and then, um, what have I covered? Uh, 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 oh yeah, and then the last one is they put a uh, like an air tube in. And in, in a fantastic turn of events that I never actually knew about, what they do is they inflate your stomach, they inflate your abdomen so that it's it's completely you know it, it's like a balloon like boop. and that it kind of gives them a little bit of room to work now i i didn't know about that and that sounds kind of cool <laughs> if a little bit weird and especially with like the fact that i've got all of this like like slightly looser emptier skin from losing weight and stuff i i'm, I'm not sure how that's gonna go <laughs> I don't know, that's that's weird to think about. But anyway, anyway. Uh, so they come in, uh, the little tube that attaches the gallbladder to the rest of the ducts and everything, they put one clip on here, one clip on there, exactly like an umbilical cord, if you've ever been to a birth. And then they come in with the, uh, the scalpel or the little scissors or whatever it is, and they go in between the two clips. And then they grab the, the gallbladder and they pull it out through the, the larger incision in the bottom of my bottom of my stomach, just underneath the belly button. Pull it out and into the bin or the fire or possibly into a little like jar for me to keep. I, I don't know exactly. Um, yeah, so that's that's how it's gonna go. I guess. So now that that's out of the way with, uh, that's the operation side. So after the operation, Welcome back if you skipped ahead. After the operation, uh, I get moved into the, uh, the wake up room and within about 20 minutes of everything being over and me, me being moved into that room, I should wake up completely like not in pain, apparently. 
because of like the type of drugs that they're using and uh, you know they'll have stitched everything up and all of that sort of stuff um, and if I'm fine in there if I'm not like feeling nauseous or anything like that which is possible um, you know if I take like a little bit of time to sort of get my bearings and, and act a little bit crazy uh, <laughs> that's what the wake-up room's for and then they just kind of shoved me onto a normal ward they asked if I needed like private thing or anything like that I said no because I don't I can fall asleep anywhere I, I have fallen asleep anywhere it's a useful skill to have hello really again you want to come up no come here yeah hi look here we go hello get stop eating no 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 no, no. I'm sorry about that I've locked the cat out because I picked him up and I put him on here and well you saw he started trying to eat the microphone and he got the uh, he got the little um the little uh wind muffler in his mouth and had it like most of the way down his throat and I had to like pincer it out so I, I cut the video short of all of that and now he's outside and everything's fine um right where were we where were we uh wake up room wake up room so after I've I've come to my senses in the wake up room I go off onto a normal ward no one cares really where the stick me, least of all me, and my bag should be waiting there, and everything should be good, and then they don't give me any food. Until Tuesday, if I understood them right. I might be wrong on this, but I'm fairly certain I got them. So Tuesday, the day after the operation, um, they're going to give me a bowl of soup. And I have no idea what that soup will be. I've just been told it's a bowl of soup. And I am to eat this bowl of soup without any bread or anything else. And soup is best with a few chunks of bread. And then if there's no issues with my, you know, like digestion and, and everything like that, then the next day, Wednesday, I get to eat normal food. And then, if that's okay, I get released on Thursday. That's my understanding. Um, apparently, there are some complications that could happen, like, as with anything, but this is more like, you know, like, like actual possibilities rather than, like, you know, like the sort of nightmare scenario things that everyone likes to play through their heads and is subject of multiple films everywhere. Uh, the actual things that could happen is uh, when they um, are in there doing their stuff, uh, it might, they might knock a, a gallbladder stone, like a gallstone, from the gallbladder into the rest of the tubing that's going around there. And that is a very, very simple fix uh, involving an endoscopy, which is like the camera down the throat sort of thing, uh, which again, I'll be knocked out for, so I won't mind. Uh, at least they're not going in the other end, right? Mm. Uh, did it, did, did, that's about it, really. That's, that's like the only thing that would go wrong or realistically would go wrong. I mean, there's obviously the potential of, uh, you know, like me being allergic to some sort of knockout drugs. Because I'm, I'm not allergic to anything, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I think I have like a bit of a sensitivity to some sort of, some sort of spice that's in a certain type of Pringles, which is like, you know, like the potato chips, the crisps. Um, I think like the, the smoked paprika ones I can't eat. It gives me like some sort of weird thing in the back of my mouth. But there was other things that used to set that off as well, like certain like spices on food. And since I started this whole foods plant-based thing, I've never had that problem, ever. And this was just a thing that I thought like I was, I was living with. Like, yeah, so I, I, I don't know where we stand on that. I don't know. I don't think I'm allergic to anything, but obviously, you know, they'll try their best not to find the thing that I'm allergic to if there is anything, you know? Uh, right, so all of that out of the way. Yes, let's address a couple of things. Uh, there's been a couple of people that were asking 
or sort of suggesting like, no, don't get it taken out. Just get the stones taken out. According to the doctor, <laughs> according to the surgeon that I spoke to today, um, he has seen bags of gravel that have got less stones in them than my gallbladder. Uh, <laughs> he's also seen he's also seen more stones inside the rest of the ductwork, leading to like the pancreas and things like that, but not for a while. So everything's coming out basically. Um, it's just the way of it, like, I'm not particularly fussed, like, I, I wanted to try and go, like, the non-invasive route if I could, like, but that's not on the table, so we're going with the invasive light, I guess. I mean, obviously, depending on complications, it could be that they can't use the laparoscope stuff. They can't do keyhole, they have to do, like, a full slice, but I don't know. God, I'm, I'm gonna have to really think about putting a warning on this video, aren't I? Like, I, I, I told you to skip past, like, the actual details of the thing, but now I'm just, like, waffling little bits. I should, I should just move on. Right, okay, we are gonna move on. So, so, what else is going on? Well, not a great deal. I mean, it's kind of nice that Saguta's working from home, because then she's sort of around. Um, but because she is working from home, we don't interact all too much. Like, she's locked in a room just, you know, programming and coding and doing pull requests and all that sort of funky stuff that programmers do. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm out with Rowan. I can't really do much because if I exacerbate stuff too much or if I get, like, kicked in the gut, that's me back in hospital. Um, so yeah, like, we're just having a bit of a chilled out time. We get together for lunch, we eat lunch together, you know, she finishes work early and gets back here early. Um, Cause usually it's like, it, you know, she finishes work and then has to ride a train. And now she doesn't, she just walks from one room into the other. So that's kind of nice. We've been having dinner together a lot more, which is good. Um, even if they're completely different items. Um, Rowan's pretty good. He's finally getting over his cold, which is nice. Um, yeah, like cat's been interesting. The cat. We finally figured out why the cat keeps trying to eat our toes. Um, we have basically just been playing with him a lot more now. Um, <laughs> fun fact: when he gets properly out of breath, like when he's been running around and stuff, he pants like a dog. Uh, I think Saguta has a video of it. I'll see if I can pop that in here now, um, just because it is kind of amusing. There we go. Obviously, if I haven't got the video, then you're not gonna see any of that. Um, let's see. Oh, the fruit flies are back with a vengeance, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> it seems that someone out of the household put a banana on the windowsill here in the kitchen uh, when we were cleaning up one day and has then just like sort of not touched the banana in a couple of days. So the banana has gotten nice and ripe and the one or two fruit flies that were hiding somewhere have found it and you know now I've been wandering around all day with a fly swat just uh, we've got new traps out and all sorts of things, so that's great. But, you know, I, I think we're sort of coming to the end of summer, I hope. Like, it's going to start cooling down a bit and they're going to not be here much longer. Don't know. Um, we've got hard drives as well. We've got a couple of two terabyte hard drives. One for my Xbox, so that I don't have to keep deleting games because I didn't get the one with the extra memory. I got like the, the little memory one. So I, I've got like four games on there and it's full. Um, we got one for me, um, we got one for the laptop. And that is currently going to be sort of like flopping between video editing and whatever Sigurta needs. So that's going to be quite cool, I think. Um, I haven't took them out of the boxes and plugged them in or anything yet. I just haven't got round to it. I've, I've had too much on. But, meh, you know. Soon enough, we'll get there. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Nah, 
nothing else really. Let's have a look at some food. Let's do that. So what I had for lunch on Thursday was this. And dinner on Thursday was this. And today, all I've eaten is this. Although that might change. I might add something else in. I might add something else in now because I'm kind of hungry. And I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be because I've got stuff in the fridge. I've got some potatoes and I've got my curry that I made the other day and I bought some Asian style vegetables and some sweet chili sauce and stuff and I, I do want to eat something because I only had one meal today and I'm, I'm just a bit like, uh, you know. Um, I think what I'm probably going to do is just drink a nice big glass of water and maybe just have like a small portion of something. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that seems fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably I'll I'll put something in if I if I eat it. If not, then, you know. Um, I am definitely sticking with the Mary's Mini all the way through day ten because. Yeah, no, I kind of have to. <laughs> and it's going to be Sunday where it finishes. So, you know, like I'll, I'll eat all the way up until Sunday night, like my normal sort of time. And then Monday morning is hospital. So you're probably not going to see a couple of vlogs for a few days. Um, but when I finally come back, then I'll do like a, a full on Mary's Mini 2 breakdown, like exactly how much weight I lost and all that sort of stuff. Um, because I, what I do is I weigh myself on the morning when I first wake up. So I'll have the results from before I go into surgery and spend like two days nil by math, you know? Um, what else is going on? Like there's nothing really. I mean, tomorrow we're going to go to the zoo. Siguta, me and Rowan are going to go out. We're going to go for a walk. We're going to take the boy to the play area. We're going to get up early and do that. So I need to go to bed early as well. Um, yeah, I should be okay with eating out at that point. Because there's a... Ooh, sorry. There's a giant salad bar in the, in the zoo. I, I think what I might do is I might actually like take like a video of it or something like I'll see if I can do that and what they also do is uh, they offer like just plain baked potatoes as well so what I'm going to try and do is if they've got the baked potatoes which they should do but you know if they've got the baked potatoes I can just have those and you know some salad along with it if they don't then I can just have the salad and they've got the options there where if they don't have the potato, I can just eat salad and it'll be fine. And I just skip out on a starch for a little bit. Like, it's not the end of the world. I've got potatoes with me, but they don't have a microwave that I can use to heat up my potatoes. So, you know, uh, I can just eat them as a snack when I come back. Um, yeah, like, that's, that's about it. That's all that we've really got planned. I, I, I think I'll probably go out on my own to Saturn on Saturday. Um, just try and have a, a long walk, clear my head, do a little bit of, I don't know, like, it's not really like mindfulness or meditation or anything. It's just like, get out on my own, away from everything and everyone, and just do some stuff. Like, yeah, I think, I, I think I'll do that. Uh, I, I still haven't done anywhere near enough painting to call this project that I was working on done. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say scrap it. Cause at this point there's one miniature out of nine that I could say is like, had any work done to it at all. And I'm not getting time to do stuff. And I can't really take it with me and do it in the hospital either. Because you know, like they, they frown upon people licking paint brushes. And I don't know whether or not I've ever put in the footage, but here's, if, actually, I know, I know for a fact I haven't. So here's a video that I took the other day, me licking paintbrushes, just in case you don't believe me. Here we go. It's not great, is it? Like, it, it, it's, it's a terrible habit and no one should do it. 
but by the same token, the paint is completely like non-toxic. So, you know, it's a tiny little minuscule amount as well. I don't know. It's, it's an awful habit that I should stop. It's like cracking my knuckles and stuff. Like I stopped for ages and then I'm back into it. And I don't know why. Ugh. Anyway, right, okay. I'm gonna go and stop waffling at you. I'm gonna cut this down and then, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's roundup, day nine. Yay. Right, thank you very much for joining me. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.